Cultures and social mores change over time and place, but humanity remains constant. Plays or films about the past always say something about today. It's inescapable. Take, for example, House of Joy, a play by Madhuri Shekhar, directed by Megan Sandberg Zakian at California Shakespeare Theater through September 1st. The setting may be India, probably the city of Delhi, the year sometime in the 17th century, but the audience and actors are in Orinda, California in 2019, and many of the issues raised, including authoritarianism and gender roles, have resonance no matter what year it is. At the top of Madri's play, the entire ensemble steps out onto the stage and invites us, the audience, into the house of joy. Eric Ting, artistic director of Cal Shakes. Shortly thereafter, we come upon two bodyguards waiting atop a wall, one of whom is a protagonist of our evening, Hamida, and her compatriot, Roshni. The two guards think they know what's going on inside the palace. The newest queen in the harem is attempting to leave the palace grounds with her young son and is stopped at the gate. Why would she leave this pleasure palace when all is right in the world there? At least that's what the guards are trying to figure out. But of course, all is not what it seems. It is a play filled with women, strong women, powerful women, fierce women, majestic women, who in many ways are unwilling to compromise, both in the choices of their lives and in the choices of their spirit. Given the strangeness of the culture and the way in which characters interact, House of Joy almost feels like science fiction. We've been beckoned into a world we've never seen before on stage, helped along by the gated set by Lawrence E. Moten III and the sumptuous costumes by Dana Botez. This is historical India and also fantastical India. It is magic realism on stage. The acting and dialogue range from the arch, campy quality of the harem's eunuch, played by Rotimi Agbabakia, to the more realistic and romantic interplay between Emma Van Lair as the guard Hamida and Raji Asan as the court physician. The fourth wall gets broken from time to time, but never in a way that feels intrusive or incongruous. But playwright Madhuri Shakar never strays far from keeping us in suspense, turning the tables, and setting up new alliances. As a world premiere, House of Joy still needs some work. Ultimately, House of Joy is about the power that women have if they're willing to upset the status quo, either to gain power themselves or to go down fighting. House of Joy plays at California Shakespeare Theater through September 1st. For more information, you can go to calshakes.org. I'm Richard Walensky on Bay Area Theater for KPFA.